This week, the Shelter for Education team is in Talon in the northern region. The teachers and pupils of Dima BDA Primary School have reached out for support. Many parents are fearing in order to bring their children to, uh, to sit in this kind of uh, dilapidated uh, building. And so uh, because of that uh, uh, problems, uh, so we've not been finding it easy. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, performing our duty as teachers in the school. My name is Isa Saudatu. I am in class three. I am 13 years. I sweep around the house and wash the dishes and go to the dam and fetch water to bath before I come to school. This school is called Dimabi DA Primary School. Um, somewhere two, three years ago, the school was ripped off, and uh, since then, it, 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 there were some difficulties in uh, getting it re-roofed. was having a problem in the school. The roof of the school was vanished. There was pressure in the class. Like we find it difficult to understand when they were teaching us. Like we don't have library in the school and we don't have books. Actually, the school was established in 1980. We are actually, uh, uh, this is my second year. The difficulties that we are facing now is the school building that we are seeing here. Actually, the, because of the nature of the school building, we've, uh, we've not been finding it comfortable to teach. And then the children, uh, uh, you know, uh, definitely because of the nature of the school building, we have not been getting most uh, people uh, to enroll. We need good classroom and furniture to study and free to, so that our teachers will also get free to teach us. Because I can see the other days that when they was getting to rain, we need to rush home. It's, it is not being easy, frankly speaking. Because uh, whenever you go into the community, when, whenever it is a new, uh, a new academic year, and you go into the community uh, looking for more children to be enrolled, the only problem that the parents will complain about is the building, because of the nature of the building. So uh, this one has been a very big challenge to us. The first one, where you have the preschool, the whole block is damaged. You see cracks all over so it has been abandoned like that yeah um, actually uh, this is a rural uh, community we have three communities in this particular uh, in this area and uh, you know the community is not a a, a very small community, it's a very large. Whenever we, well, we want more children, we have to go uh, 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 house to house in order to get the parents, convince the parents in order to bring their children for us to uh, enroll in, uh, for, 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 uh, for us to admit into the school. And so uh, it's not been easy because uh, we have more than, uh, more than, I can say we have more than 200 houses. And imagine, a teacher to go around each houses. I want to become a nurse in future. I want to help my people and the, my people and the sick and the sick people in the community. We find it difficult to study 
because we was not having furniture in the in the classroom to sit and learn. Our teachers was finding it difficult to give her exercise. We was when we too, we were finding it difficult to learn as much we supposed to learn. I hope the condition of the school will change so that our masters will feel comfortable to teach us, so that we also understand the things that they are to use to teach us. Uh, as you can see, it's for the children between four to five years. They are not strong enough to be sitting in a weak building like this. If there's something wrong, it will be difficult for them to save their lives. So if it is uh, renovated, it will help us a lot. There are so many children in the community who may want to come in, but because of the nature of the block, uh, people don't want to risk their children sitting in such a weak block. Our hopes are that uh, we want to see the school, uh, the, the building uh, being renovated. They uh, make so convenient that uh, so we can have uh, more children. Uh, something that will attract more children to be enrolled into the school. After this project, I'm sure that parents will, will now be bringing their children willingly. They, uh, it will be uh, something like a, a voluntary distance, so they will be bringing their children instead of we going to the community for them. The Shelter for Education team start work. The focus is to create a safe environment for teaching and learning. My name is Eva Entry. I'm the head of supply chain, Tigo Ghana, and I'm the project manager for this project. This code drew our attention in particular because when we came in, there was a heavy rainstorm and the roof was completely gone and all the kids were under, under the trees. So we thought that it was really necessary to support um, with the renovation of the school and get the kids back to the class. We started with uh, uh, the cracks. There was cracks all around the walls okay. and then the floor. Okay. So we started with the walls first. It was cracks and there were a whole lot of holes in the plastering. So we have to Plast just, yes, and then also okay. replast it. Yeah. Okay. There was a very serious crack here. Very, very serious. That even uh, created fear and panic. Even the masters themselves, yes, the structure, in fact, it was not good at all. It was in a deplorable state. Yes. So we have to try out what we can to rectify those problems. And I think with this, there's no fear. Yes, it's not only this block. The other block, uh, there are some repairs. Uh, okay. That is almost uh, about complete. The pillars, the two pillars, there were cracks in between this place and the other side. Okay. And also in the middle. You can see, these are new materials we used to. The whole thing was demolished and then rebuilt. You know, uh, when uh, the first uh, people who built uh, the, this, the school, mm -hmm. there were some holes up here that the bats do pass through. Okay. You know, there are these uh, vampire bats, those small, small bats. Yes. yes. That always enter to disturb a whole lot of things. So we have also decided that we use the chicken mesh cover. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Initially, they used the wooden one. Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, the termites and all those things have to eat into it and just destroy it uh, completely. Totally. Okay. So we uh, suggested that, or we decided that uh, if we will do something that will last for them, then we have to make it the steel one. And like you can see, looking at the, the, the wooden ones, you see that the wooden ones are even in a deplorable state. Yeah. Uh, but with this, I think it will last for them. Yes. Yes, so we have to expand it and make it six feet. Uh, but we maintain the height. 
So far, the work done has been they've done a very good job. Um, I've noticed that they've increased the sizes of the, um, the the windows and it's improved the ventilation a bit more. And also, when we came in initially, it was really structurally damaged. It was really bad. I, I noticed that they've. Um, um, constructed new columns into the into the building, and they've re-roofed the building, so you have a more um, stable structure for the students to to study under. We have three strong, diligent machines, and also uh, depending on the uh, amount of work that will be done for the day. That will, yes, we add more libraries. Sometimes we take about four or five. I'm in the cadre, I'm in the middle of the pala. 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 I'm in the middle of the Bucket <laughs> Say <laughs> They organize some food staffs for us, yam and other things. And they also delegated a woman to cook for us. From the conversation we've had with the team, everybody's so excited with it. And um, I think that for, for the kids studying a more stable environment and a cleaner environment, it's quite helpful because it's all boils out to the well-being of the child and how the child's attitude is towards um, school. So if you're coming into school and you're not even sure where you want to sit or whether the next minute's rain is going to take off your roof and it's going to rain down you and all that, all those things affect the psychology of the children. Yes. So how, how does the community feel about Tigo actually? Well, they are very, Because I see the kids are very excited. Yes, yes. The community is very happy with TV. Very, very, extremely happy. Okay. Because uh, even uh, listening to the speech of some of them, in fact, they are really excited. Even most of them. Because they are saying that if not TV, maybe by now this building would have been collapsed. With high hopes for the new academic term, the teachers and pupils of Dimabi DA are eager to see the renovated school building. I wish by the time we will be getting to school, things will change for us to learn. We have reopened and we are going back to school and I'm expecting that I will meet a very beautiful, well-furnished classroom. Tigo people who came and then uh, took an inventory and they, 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 exp they made a promise that they would come and then uh, uh, build it for us. So I expect that it will be done so that the school will be attractive enough to increase our enrollment. That is basically what I expect to see when I report to school. My involvement with the project was first with the identification of 
uh, the deprived schools and it was one of the schools that we identified and in the selection process we realized that they needed our help to be able to improve their infrastructure so that the kids will have a better place of convenience to be able to study. The challenges here were that their roof were gone off and they had a lot of cracks so the students were not able to use the, the facility for uh, learning. With the renovation and the other things that we are adding for the kids, the school uniform, the books, and then the footwear that they are going to get in addition. And looking at them, the kids even for seeing what they are going to get alone, they, they are already excited. And I think our presence too also made motivate them to uh, do more in their study. Wow, yeah, I've come, uh, what I was expecting to see, I have seen a different scene altogether and I'm, I'm totally astonished as to what I've seen uh, in my school today. I was expecting to come and see a dilapidated building, but what I've come to see today, in fact, I'm really uh, 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 at a loss, I don't know what to say again. I'm really happy for what Tigo has done within the shortest possible time. This community is one of the numerous deprived communities. We've seen that the students here, their age to go to school is very high. They have the high spirit to go to school. What they have done, I know definitely, many parents will be encouraged to bring in more children. The, the way it was, Many parents were even taking their children out of the school simply because they were fearing for their lives. Now that Tigo has provided these buildings, I am sure parents will be more encouraged to bring in more children. Furniture has been provided, even the doors that were wooden whereby people could easily break into, they have not changed them to metal doors and windows. And then the students, as we come out, they are happy to be around. They now have a better facility than before because at least we are, we are giving something back to the community for what they do for us. And I'm very, very happy for t what Tigo has done. And in fact, uh, they have even, uh, on top of that, they have even provided phones for we, the teachers. In fact, uh, for, for, for that one, yeah, I, I, I am lost of words. I don't even know what to say. I'm an yano kumeshi kubi shia baba taka man pa zabi bi bai. Ma zabi man kini piha del man. Tumenda man moso shi sara ilu na boko tulam tap. Biyenzo makula yano duru ma yene me. Ma mafun fu oden no shi mama. Den onto ba su tiye. And they even went further to provide furniture, textbooks, reading materials, school uniforms in addition. And this alone will boost the enrollment drive of the school. The school had a huge gaping hole in the middle and the roof was off. The children were still studying despite you know the structural defects in that building and it was just a disaster waiting to happen and now actually for the kids as well they can really enjoy class they don't have to be afraid to stay in the building because it won't cave in the roof is done and for the parents as well who were also struggling to bring in their children because they were concerned for the safety of their children well this is a great opportunity and we're thrilled to see the smiles on the faces of the children and we're also very excited that the children are coming back into a really befitting school.
will do our own way to ensure that all their efforts, their resources, their time that they have spent in my school will not go in vain. We'll make sure quality teaching will be brought to the doorstep of the people of the Mara. Education will set me free, set 